Hello, this is Danny Sands. How's it going, guys? Me, Beautiful Bombs, about to play a little bit of... Welcome back. Welcome back to my time at Portia, or Portia. Still haven't decided, but yeah. Uh, this is part two, for those of you who are wondering. Welcome back. Good to see ya. Anyways. Day three, month one, year one. This house is so warm. I need to fix it or I won't be getting a good night's sleep. Oh, is that so? I need three wood. Sure, we'll fix that. Look at that. Not bad. I need 20 wood. I don't think I have enough. And I don't have enough to fix that because that's a 10, right? How much is this? Oh, that's a 10? Then how much is this? Is this a 5, maybe? Oh, 3. Yeah, we can fix that. There we go. Boom. We got two, two big old holes left in the house. Ain't that nice. We got something in the mail. What do we got? Yeah, from City Hall. Hello, new builder. We'd like to rec uh, we'd like to remind you, sorry, Miss Speaks, that's what I do at the Danny Sands channel. Oh, uh, we'd like to remind you that Porsche currently has two authorized ruins for you to uh, dive in. An abandoned ruin number one below the Church of the Light and a hazardous ruin in the collapsed wasteland uh, east of town. For your own safety, all other ruins are currently off limits. Thank you, Porsche Town Hall. Well, thanks, Porsche Town Hall, for letting me know. I'm super excited to go risk my life as a little, little helpless boy. Oh my god, that cat is so pink and fat. Oh, his name's Pinky. I guess that's fair. Oh, it's a stray kitty. Hey, kitty. Uh, let's chat with the kitty. Okay. Can I give you a gift? Oh, maybe I can give you, I can give you some fruit. Would you like some rubber fruit? Ah, relationship down two. How was I supposed to know? You didn't like fruit? Oh, I can't give you any more gifts. No! I'm sorry, kitty. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were gonna be... So... Yeah, so particular with your, your... The food that you will eat. My god. Look out. Almost hit me. Hey, watch where you're going. How about you watch with your eyeballs? We both have eyeballs. Let's divide up the, uh, the responsibilities. Huh? What do you think about that? Oh, there's Presley. Let's go talk to him. Tell him that we did ah, our first mission. Excellent quality. Nicely done. You can keep them. I just wanted to see what you can do. Now for the second test. You are to build a stone furnace. This one's a bit tougher. You need to use the assembly station in your yard to complete this task. Okay. Hmm. If I remember correctly, your pa kept a very detailed account of the things he made. You might want to flip through his workshop handbook and see if you can find a diagram for the stone furnace. Sure, I'll take a look. Diagram. Just use it on the assembly station in your yard to start construction. Uh, sure, I'm totally gonna remember all those things that you spoke to me about. Why, of course. Of course, of course, a horse, of course. I am excited though. Hopefully I can get horsies. I love horsies. Not as much as kitties, but I love horsies too. Maybe I can become... <gasps> Imagine if we could become llama salesmen. Oh, that would be the best. That would be the best, man. Let's see, what do we got? Oh, this is so many things. Lesson one is the most important. I just had the prez help me construct my assembly station. And I'm going to write down the steps for using it properly. Go one, go up to the assembly station podium. Done. Two, open this handbook and select the diagram. Haven't done that yet. Three, once the framework of the item appears. <clears throat> excuse me. I am burping and I'm trying not to burp into the mic. That's rude. I can start placing the different parts. To install a part, I need to have the part in my hands. I'll walk up to the framework in the highlighted location and press the left mouse button to place it. Hmm. Okay. What's next? Oh boy. Oh, stone furnace. Okay. Hmm. Excuse me, sorry. Uh, this is why you don't drink carbonated drinks before you get back on stream. Lessons learned. Well, let's see, stones can be found anywhere. Craft with a work table. Uh, okay, so I need 10 stones to make the stone stool and then I just need wood. Well, we can get the wood really easily, but we're still going to have to search a lot for those damn stones. Alright, we'll come back when we get the stones then. Well, first let's get the easy thing out of the way. Let's chop this tree down. One more time, there we go. Boom. Screw nature. Give me that wood. Ooh, tree sap. That sounds fun. Well, it seems like also that the rocks respawn in the same areas, which is kind of nice. That is helpful. Oh, I think I see some stones maybe up this way. 
Let's try going that way. Oh, my stamina is pretty low. Oopsies. Anything right there? <gasps> more stones. Just what I needed. Oh, more stones. Yes. How many do we have? We have... S oh, wait. We have 19? Nah. Oh, wow. We actually do. <laughs> I actually had enough the whole time. She. I didn't even know. Silly Danny Sands. Let's build the stone furnace. Assembly tutorial. Have the needed part equipped in hand. Aim at the silhouette to construct and click the left mouse button to assemble. <gasps> or A slash X. Does that mean I can use a control? <gasps> I can use a controller. Oh, wait. Is that not X? Oh, right. You have to have it in your hand. <gasps> I just accidentally figured out how to roll for some reason. Oh my god. I can't handle. I can't handle. I'm losing my damn mind. All right, well, how do I equip the stone? Now I have to relearn how to do things with my controller. Aha! Okay. Oh, right, and then I have to craft the stone thingy. Right, right, right. Oh, stone stool. There it is. Craft it. Yes, just one. Thank you. Look at that. Making progress. Hell yeah, boy. All right. Uh, where is it? Oh, it has to be my quick bar. Right. And boom. Look at that. There we go. Yeah, we should be able to place it. Boom. Very nice. I'll retrieve it. Thank you. Oh my god. Where do I set this damn thing? Okay. Well, maybe I just need to take it. Uh, back to... What's his face? Random guy. I totally know his name. Totally know his name. Oh. A and G construction. I guess this is where the mission is. Let's go in. Hello? Anybody home? I have some cool stuff I built that somebody could look at and I guess find mildly cool as well. Hello? Okay. Hmm. Well. What the hell is that? Uh... What? What? Oh, no, wait. Wait, wait a second. I'm supposed to go into commerce. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, why would they make me go there? Oh, there's Presley. Hey, Boo, what's up? Job. This is your oh, thank you for my well, license. You just need to take this license over to the mayor's office and get your workshop registered. After which, you can come back and talk with me after you read. All right, all right, Presley. I'll definitely remember your name next time. Ha <laughs> got him. Definitely not. Uh, Porsche government. Oh, town hall. Okay, this is it. Let's go say hello to the mayor and get our license all registered and stuff. Oh, is that the mayor? Hello, Gail. Welcome, welcome. You have a great mustache. You must be the new builder. I'm Gail, the mayor of this town. It is truly wonderful to see young people getting involved in the telesis of our society. And it is also truly wonderful to hear your very interesting voice. I have to register in my workshop. What is the name of the workshop? <gasps> Do I get the name of my workshop? Oh my god! Yay! What are we gonna call it? Maybe I'll call it... Uh... Dala... No. How about... Dala... Dala... Bills? Chal? Yeah. Are you sure you want to name your workshop? <laughs> I'm pretty sure, I guess. I definitely won't regret it later. Okay. Builder license. There it is. Boom. Nice <laughs> Thank you, Gail. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I said. Also, we're going to have a fireside town meeting once in a while. Uh, they'll be announced through the mail. Try to make them if you can. You don't want me being the only one there. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awkward. Cover town and world events at large, uh, the usual, you know. Cool. Sounds like a fun time. I definitely will see you, see you there, Gail. Let me leave. Please let me leave. Thinks I'm going to go to some town hall event. What are you, crazy? What are you out of your damn mind? Damn it. I got to go talk to Presley again. Man. Man, I just want to build a farm full of billy goats. Mission completed. Oh, we got some rep points. Not sure what that is. Now a bona fide workshop owner. Your pa would have been so proud. I know. If only he hadn't left me alone in this world. 
Here at the Porsche office, we post workshop commissions every day on the board over there. Cool. Based on the speed and quality of the results, we make a ranking of the workshops every week listed on the wall behind me. Fun. Not sure why you're telling me this. Oh yes, adding yours, there will be five workshops in our jurisdiction. Besides the ranking list, you also have a workshop rating, which is listed on your license. The higher your rating, the higher quality the commissions you can get. But don't worry, if you have your father's work ethic, you'll be number one in no time. Yay, I love number Once ones. Once you're done with your orders, you can pick up the commission fee from Antoine if it's from the guild or the respected person who commissioned you. Builders make most of their money from doing commissions through the Commerce Guild. But some just build items and sell directly to the market. That's fairly lucrative as well. Cool. Anyway, since this is your first commission, I've kept one just for you. Oh, thanks. Thanks, dude. Playing favorite um, Who the hell is this douche? Took one today. There are never too Why does he have testicles today? next to his damn eyebrows? He's the owner of the current number one workshop. Brilliant businessman, but I don't like the way he does things. Well, I'm sorry. That was our last one today. Hey, Prez. I like that no sound when you kick or doors. Not. <gasps> Could this be my first job? What is it, Arlo? So the mayor finally put up the money. Well, young. Yeah, I'm totally ready to build bridges that people could put their feet on. Check your pa's workshop handbook to see if he has a bridge diagram in there. I remember he built a bunch. If it's there, use it at your assembly station. Presley, I know I'm interrupting, but do you realize that your mouth is closed right now as you're talking? The bridge. You should get it. You should become a ventriloquist. Also, and this is there we go. For a project as big as a bridge, you need to dive into the abandoned ruins to gather materials. We have oh, that's why I got that thing in the mail. Okay, got it. That's a lot of information, but I will try to remember some of it. Cool. Well, I guess we're gonna build a bridge now, so that's fun. Very fun. Yay. Oh, hello, Gail. Hello. Hello. Well, shit, we got so much to do. Real quick, though, I do want to mess with some of the options. I want to see if I can... Yeah, the voiceover. I want to raise the voiceover uh, volume, because I can't hear anyone at all. It's so unfortunate. So, now we gotta figure out how we're gonna build the stamp bridge. We gotta place the bridge head, place the bridge body. Hmm. Well, she. Let me see. Grinder. Okay. Oh my god, there's so many things. Holy shit! Wow! Oh, the bridge head. Oh! Okay, so we need. Oh my god. Oh, there's so many things that we need. Okay, so we need three copper pipes. And to get copper pipes, you need copper. Duh! So, okay, and we need a hardwood. And, hmm. So the bigger the tree, the harder it's wood. So we need to find really big trees to get the hardwood. Okay. Well, let's just worry about one thing at a time. So we'll worry about the bridge head first. Hmm. Okay, so we gotta find some really big trees. That looks like a big tree. I think that's a fairly big tree, in my opinion. All right. Oh, hey, it's some lady. Her name is Gust. You're the new builder. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's a boy. I'd love to my stop bad. Chat, tea, cake, and all, but I'm busy. So. Okay. Well. Uh, oh, we can spar. Oh, bitch! I'm gonna spar your damn face off. Hold on. Let me put my gloves on. Hold on. Hold on. I need time. No, I need time. Punch. 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 Come here, boy. I am beating the ever-loving shit out of your damn- Ow! Did you just kick me in the frickin' face? What? You weren't even close! What? Come on, boy. Cut me some slack. Oh, there's only 38 seconds left. No! Oh! Oh, God. Oh, God. This is not going to happen. Oh, why? What the hell? What are you, what are you doing dance moves for? Oh god, 20 damage, that's so much. Uh, what is that even? 
Oh, so much all the damage. I'm not gonna win this one. But I must believe! Oh wait, there's only six seconds! Come on! Oh! No! I was so close until I did that sick dance move. Damn you! I didn't just commit murder. Duh, what are you talking about? I need a better axe. I'll show you a better axe, you son of a bitch. Well, how are we gonna cut down these big ass trees then? Also, we don't have very much energy left. So, um, hmm, should we maybe sleep after we gather a little more wood? Perhaps? Maybe. Hey, we gotta level up. Very nice. Oh, we have skill points. How do I, how do I mess with those things? That you just spoke about, skill points. Skill tree tutorial. Click to add skill points. There are different upper limits for different skills. At most, five points can be added to one level. Unlock the next level after adding five points. The final skill. Excellent effect. Sure. Whatever you just said. We do battle. Experience increase. Okay. Uh, let's see. What was that? Evasive. Endurance usage decreased by... Oh, for the dodging and rolling. Dash. Endurance uh, usage. Okay. Hmm. It's good to know. Good to know. I only have two skill points. Let's see. Maximum health increase. Maximum stamina. Social. Hmm. Increased chance to receive one additional relationship points after chatting. Hmm. Increased chance to receive one to two additional relationship points after gifting. Well, I have a feeling we're going to be doing a lot of sprinting. So I'm going to do one point into that. Experience. Maybe I should do experience. I'll do that. Yeah. Well, that's fine. All right. Cool. That should be all set. Very nice. Well, let's see. I do see some markers. So I guess we'll head towards those. I think that's the abandoned areas they talked about. Oh, wait. No. Actually, I don't have much... Uh, much stamina left. Maybe I should just call the night. Not after I cut this damn bush though first. Boom. Come on, give me the wood. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, let's go catch some sleep. Oh, and actually, we can fix up the uh, the house first. Oh, that'll be so nice. Yeah, let's fix this gap. Need twenty wood to fix. Sure. There you go. Slap things with hammers. Oh. Oh wait, there's one left. I need ten wood to fix the gap. Boom. The gaps have been fixed. I'm finally going to have a good night's sleep. I know, isn't that so fantastic? Oh, it's so great. Let's have some sleeps. Day four. Yay! Let's go ahead over to one of these locations. These abandoned areas, I think is what they called it. Let's go ahead over there. Does that say it? abandoned ruin? Wow, what a helpful sign. Thanks. Thanks, sign. Hey there. Oh god, you are very ugly. Uh yeah. Alrighty, let me explain then. All the ruins in the Alliance of Free Cities are regulated by the Civil Corps. To enter the ruins, you'll need to pay a maintenance fee. Okay. Sure. When you enter, I'll give you the jetpack and scanner. A jetpack? Relics. Mining for resources becomes a lot easier when you have these equipped. When you come out, we'll need them back since the this one is uh, okay. an abandoned ruin. No monsters or robots in there, just resources and relics like power stones. Anything you find in the ruins are yours to keep. <gasps> okay, I'm I don't get any I'm ancient weapons. Okay, I'll try. I guess, I mean, whatever. Do you want to spend 20 golds to switch to another area of the abandoned bed? But, but I don't want to. Never! I uh, pay 80 golds for weekly pass into the ruin. You don't have enough gold. How? Oh no! It says there's some sort of ex exclamation point over here. Wait, was I supposed to maybe talk to him again? What are the uh, exclamation points for? Oh, Gale! What's going on? Meet and greet? Why? Why would I do that? Can I give you a gift? Oh, <gasps> I'll give you meat! Oh, you're you're welcome. I'm glad you enjoyed the meat. Now, what? Uh, what you wanted something? get to know some of the people living in this town for your own benefit. Okay. I made a list of store owners within the city walls. Uh, you should go introduce yourself. All right. Sure. Hmm. Meet and greet. Meet the shop owners. All right. I'll try. I'll try my best. No promises. Uh, oh my god, there's so many. That's not the entrance to the store. How about Kaboom? Oh. Wait, can I steal these things? 
Oh, it's this lady. New person. Oh my god, you, you are very attractive. That workshop outside of town, right? I didn't. Sorry. Uh, Where are my manners? I'm Sonya. You have a very. I can't decide how I feel about your voice. It's very, uh. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, hello, Sonya. Uh, okay. I can spar with Sonya. Seems a bit much. Okay, maybe I can just start. With, well, you know, let's open up things on a good note. Give her some. <laughs> Give her some animal feces. That's how you start a good relationship with uh, with a lady friend. Ooh, she might like the dried apple slices. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, <gasps> she liked it. You are very, very generous. Thank you. I try. Well, uh, cool. Let's let's have a chat. The beverages here are all brewed by the brewmaster Django himself. Try them all. Uh, don't yell at me. Okay, Sonia. All right, chill out. Chill the fuck out. Let's go inside. Don't worry. Well, uh, we'll get married someday. It, don't even worry about it. Oh, I can dine. Ready to order. I don't have any money. I can't order anything. I don't think I have any money. Oh, there's Django. Hey, dude. What's oh, up? Oh, a new builder. Always nice to see young folks moving in. If you need refreshments, I'm your man. Try this. It's on me this time. Oh, thanks, Django. Appreciate it. Okay, cool. Well, we met him. So what next? Oh my god, look at this sick-ass armor. <laughs> I want it. I want it. I want it now. Django! Give me my damn armor! I will chop your damn ass right, right down to the floor. Doesn't want to share his armor. How rude. Well, let's go next door. Two. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Sorry, headphone users. Sorry for your earballs. Nice to have my bad. If you need I'm getting sick. Weapons, you can come to my shop. It's got the best selection around these parts. Okay. Now, you look like a nice kid, so I'm gonna give you these for free, as a leg up. Don't tell my wife, though. Okay. Why would I tell your wife? That's sort of a weird request. But thank you for the bricks. Thank you very much. Oh, God. I'm holding back a sneeze. That is why my voice is getting weird. Well, then. Let's go say hello to Albert. Why are you staring at the wall, Albert? You going under the stairs? Is that where you sleep at night? Do you always walk through walls, Albert? Are you a ghost? Are you a lonely ghost? Are you lonely? You look like you don't have a soul. Oh, hey, it's Gust. I hate him. Let's go ah, talk to welcome. Albert, the ghost. If you're in need of house or workshop upgrades, this is the place to be. All you need to do is select a plan from the catalog book in our company. Okay, sure. Whatever you just said. Cool. Hmm, okay, who's left? Who else do we have to meet? We met Albert, the lonely demon, ghost man. So that was good. That's gotta be everybody, right? Wait, what's going on here? What's going on? Let me talk. Oh my god! Hello, Phyllis! Uh, wow, okay, oh, uh, hello. Well then, would you like a gift? I have more dried apple slices. People seem to like those. You're welcome. So, uh, you got any plans? RPS. What is RPS? Can I play? Oh, rock, paper, scissors, shoot? Oh! That's my favorite game to play with strangers in the middle of town. Who else? Shopkeepers wise is left. Is there one? Wait, I have a big map for this, right? Oh, there's still a bunch. Okay, so there's at least... Four? I know how to count. Leave me alone. The marker is hard to find. Oh wait, there it is. I see it. It's very small on my screen. What can I say? It's probably very small on yours. Ooh, we got a letter. From Polly. Hey, new builder. I have a manly uh, manly commission for you to get settled in. Uh, you feeling it? I need three copper blades from some of my furniture. I expect macho quality, okay? Also, you'll need a grinder to make them if you don't have one already. That's all I know about builder stuff. Yeah, dude. Let's do it. Cool. Oh boy. Well, yeah, we can make some furniture. We could do that. Copper blades. Let's see. What do we need for? I mean, obviously copper. Duh. Stone furnace. Where should we set this? Can't set it there. I guess for now, can we set it there? Boom. Oh my! Look at that. Look at. That. Uh, from hazardous ruins or quarrying. That's where you get copper. Good to know. Hmm. 
All right, so we need more copper regardless. Hmm. So I need the muns, right? Is that what I need? Pay 80 golds for weekly pass. Ah. Oh, wait, this is one of the store ranch places people's things. Hello, Emily. <gasps> I can pick up the chicken. <gasps> oh, no, I didn't mean to steal it. I just wanted to put it down. Okay. Well, I just got beat up by some chickens for a second. That was fun. Ooh, let me steal this. What is this? <gasps> we got 25 goals. That's what you get for leaving your goals out in the barn. Hell yeah. Well, let's go inside and say hello to the, to the owner, Sophie's Ranch. Like ranch dressing. Oh my god, Sophie, you are so old. How are you still existing in this dimension? Any need for food items or seeds, you can come right on by you here. Let me sure. give you something as a welcome gift. Sure. Uh, let's see. What do you got for sale? Oh, all sorts of stuff. Nice. Well, that's all very fun there, old lady. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go, Sophie. How many, uh, how many people we got left? We got three left. So there's still some down in the town center we gotta go check out. Oh, look at that. It's a scarecrow. What's up, Scarecrow? Why? Oh god, that is a horrible Scarecrow. Is a much better Scarecrow. That's a, that's a better one. Is that a pumpkin? That's nice. That's nice. See, that's that's effort right there. That's how you doing. You don't put minimal effort like that one lumpy Scarecrow. Oh, it's Pinky. Maybe we can give a better gift, perhaps. Hmm. Fur. Fur. Maybe fur. I don't. Mm, feces? Juice. Juice. Damn it. Mm, I will. I will have your friendship, kitty. One goddamn day. Who is this man in this interesting attire? You're just gonna look through the trash? Okay, enjoy. Enjoy, sir. Good luck on your adventures. Oh, hey, here's another guy. Welcome, smallish builder. Uh, thank you, largest bearded man. So if you ever have any need for manly decors, you know where to find me. Okay. And since I'm so manly, I'm going to give you this. Oh. <gasps> hey, he gave us some hardwood. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. One, one shopkeep left. We gotta check out and say hello to. Is it Martha? Martha. Is it Carol? Welcome to our little town. Oh, it's the uh, Mars's wife, of course. I sells clothing and costumes, so if you ever need to upgrade your armor or suit for a date, come see me. Okay, like sure. Nice kid, so I'm going to give you something for free as a leg up. Don't tell my husband, she says. Oh, wife, waifus and hubus and hubbies. Always, oh, why are you always lying, lying? Relationships. So was that all? Was that all the shopkeeps? Ah, son of a bitch, there's one left. How the hell do I get up there? Let me try going this way. Oh, it's almost nighttime. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I can go up this way. Ooh, this is pretty. Wow. Well, I hope you guys, if y'all still here, hope you're enjoying the game. It's pretty fun. It's pretty nice. I, of course, it's hard to say how exciting it may be for you on your end. I don't know, I kinda like it. I kinda like it. I might actually stream this, uh, a fair bit. Fair bit. It's pretty relaxing. It's not too big of a strain on my voice. Hey, welcome to Portia. I'm pretty much the only doctor around here, so come see me when you need to heal up or buy health items. Here, have these as a welcome gift. Okay. Thanks for giving children free drugs. I'm sure that's definitely not frowned upon. Ah, Polly has commissioned you to make copper blades, so we need to assemble a grinder. Right, oh, duh, of course. Of course, a horse, of course, set of horse, course. Right, let's go make a grinder. What is this exclamation point over this way? What is that all about? Let me gather that. Oh my god, look at this beautiful purple haired person. What are you doing? Wandering in front of my house? Are you stalking me? Hello. Hey there, I'm Chiwa, the smallest. Oh, you're the boat the guy. There are seven of us, so. Uh... It'll probably take you a while to get used to it. Oh, oh, all right. Your brother of the boat guy. Sure, whatever you say. Oh, fishing rod. Hey, you're the new builder, right? I am. I'm Chiwa. I live to fish. But a big one broke my fishing rod yesterday. 
Oh, of course I can make you a new fishing rod. Of course. A horse, of course. Of course, Billy Goat horse, of course. Dollar dollar bills, chow. I don't know what I'm saying. But hey. Alright, that's gonna be the end of part two of my time at Posh, yeah. But yeah. I uh, hope you guys had a fun time like I did, and if you did, like, comment, share it with your friends if you got them, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It really makes a big difference. Anyways, uh, there'll be a link down in the description, as always, to the next episode, whenever that does come out. So yeah, check that out, or you can click the little thing at the end of the video. It'll take you to it as well. Anyways, thank you tons for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Hello, I'm Blue Brother.